Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy, and today we're going to be customising this. It is the new Grotti Turismo Omaggio. Yes, this is the final day one vehicle that we're going to be customising. Uh, this is the Grotti Omaggio. It's uh, a new Ferrari vehicle in GT Online. It has some decent customization. Uh, but let's have a quick look at this thing on the website. It's on the Legendary Motorsport website. Um, uh, along with the Lutian that we customised in the last episode. Uh, this thing is almost $3 million, so it's not a cheap vehicle. Uh, we'll have to see if this thing actually uh, is worth the price tag, if this thing is actually any good. Um, we'll have a look at the customization and have a look at the performance as well. Um, I did mention it at the end of the last episode, but both these vehicles, the L Lutian and the new Omaggio, have Amani Tech upgrades in the agency uh, so you can add the remote control feature so you can drive it whilst you're out of the vehicle you can also add the uh, missile jammer lock-on feature so people can't lock on to you and you can add armor to it as well so if somebody does lock on to you you at least get one life so the car doesn't blow up immediately which is quite nice especially since this is a supercar but let's have a look at the customization and then we'll take it for a little test drive. So we'll fully upgrade this thing with armor and brakes kind of and transmission, all of that good stuff. And meanwhile, we'll have a look at the customization. I'm just going to quickly change these. Uh, oh, okay. I was going to change the secondary color option. There isn't a secondary color option. Everything is primary. And the primary, I'm actually going to go ahead and change this thing to red. It is a Ferrari. It's really the only colour to have this vehicle in. No I'm going to put it in Torino red as well. So it's a little bit like nicer red, a bit Body brighter. Um, and then let's have a quick look through the customization. So a bumper options to start off with. We've got a stock bumper. You can go for a finned splitter. Add some little fins on there. We got the forged carbon fin splitter. We got the carbon performance splitter. Uh, we got the forged version of that. We got a track splitter, which adds some little strut races on the again? front there. And we got a forged version of that. Um, let's have a little look here. I think I like the stock one to be honest. Looks the nicest. Maybe we'll add some fins to it just Your to cosmetics are on choose a different option than the standard one. Uh, on the rear, we can go for stock. We've got carbon overlays, which is that whole back portion, or we've got a forged version of that. Um, actually, don't mind that. It looks quite cool, but I think it looks better in red. But it does look quite good but I prefer it in red. So I'll leave that canards. This is on the front again. We've got no canards. We can go for carbon accents. We've got forged version of that. We can go for actual canards. We've got forged version of that. And then we've got twin canards. And we've got that in forged as well. It's the only vehicle that has forged options so far in this DLC. This is a day one vehicle. Um, not sure whether Bubbles the DLC vehicles are going to have forged options. We will have to wait and see. Um, but not really a fan of any of the canard options. So we'll leave that. We'll fully upgrade the engine. The exhaust. We've got stock exhaust. We've got chrome and titanium. We'll go for chrome. That's Looks a bit nicer. Machinery. Horn options and light options. Uh, we can see there. All the usual stuff. Livery options. we got the Omaggio stripes. Ooh, that looks quite nice, like Italian stripes. We've got the Omaggio touring stripes. Grotti classic. We've got the Grotti challenge stripes. That looks a little bit Whatever odd. Not a fan of that. Uh, we've got the Grotti Italia. That's a very nice looking livery. I like that. I like how it 
follows the lines of the car. We've got the Sport Orange. We've been seeing this on some of the vehicles. Uh, it's a bit odd. We've got yellow version of that as well. Makes it look more like a Ferrari, the red and the yellow together like that. Uh, we've got Sport New it, Generation. I, can do it. I like this one, except for the stripe going over the like the sideways stripe. If it didn't have that, I would actually have gone for this. Uh, we've got the Outline Sport. That's kind of like what we can get on the Deveste 8. Uh, that's quite cool. We've got Narc Teroil. We've got Turismo GT. Making we got Tinkle Racing. We've got Globe Oil Racing. So these are all like basically like Ferrari racing designs. Uh, we've got Grotti Racing. That is 100% a f racing Ferrari design. Uh, we've got Nogo, Nogo Vodka. Excelsior Racing, uh, Grotti Racing. We got uh, Grotti New Generation GT. We got Ami Tech Racing. We got Flint Turismo. We got Splash Fukaru. We got San Andreas Wasabi Kitty. Oh, sorry, Stance Andreas uh, Wasabi Kitty. We've got uh, Rockstar Motorsport. Oh, this was the um, the special uh, 25th anniversary design that we could get, which is quite cool. Um, and it has, like obviously, a Rockstar thing on there. I quite liked... Uh, we haven't gone for many liveries yet, but I'm going to go for this one because that with the red looks quite good. Um, plate options. If you haven't seen this yet, we can now get green sprunk plates and we can get red E. Cola ones. No rush at all. Um, I'm not going to go for them because I'm not a huge fan of them, but if you guys are, you can now get those. Respray, we've already resprayed it red. Only primary options on this car. Um, the uh, roof options next. I was going to say hood. We've got roof options. We've got stock. We've got plastic, which also changes the mirrors. That's interesting. Uh, we've got a carbon roof and we've got the forged carbon. Um, ooh, do I want to leave it or do I want to go carbon? Go Let's go carbon. Again. That looks good. Um, the skirt options next. We've got stock. We can go for carbon skirts, forged carbon. We've got the track skirts, which adds a little fin on the side. We've got a forged version of that. And we've got the performance, which is crazy adds a really weird looking fin and we got a forged version of that i'm just gonna leave that how it is not really a fan Do of those splitters uh we already had some splitters on the front bumper options but we can actually change the sort of ducts on the front here so we got stock we got the carbon duct insets we got a forged version of that we got carbon duct fins we got a forged version of that and then we got the carbon overlays and a forged version of that. Whatever I actually like desire. just the stock. Technology and that. Spoiler options. Got a little sort of spoiler, stock spoiler. We can have that in carbon and forged carbon. Then we got the aero wing. And we can get that in forged carbon. We got the track wing. That's like a bolt on spoiler. Uh, we got the performance wing and the street SPL. If you can think it. Um, I guess I since we're going for like a race car, we'll actually go for one of these. Uh, which one do I want to go for? I think yeah, we'll go for the big one. Looks, Looks quite good. good uh, sun strips. We can go for no sun strip, plastic, painted, carbon, or forged carbon. We'll get a carbon one to match the nice roof. Chassis. That looks good. Suspension. We can get suspension options on this. Uh, we can get a fairly big drop on this thing, actually. So that's pretty good. Right Transmission. We'll fully upgrade that. Trunk options. So this is actually going to be like the hood area. Obviously, it's rear-engined. So the trunk is at the front. So we've got the stock trunk. we got a carbon duct plate, which is going to be that little black bit at the front. We've got a forged version of that. Then we've got the carbon overlay forged carbon we got the twin vented Making hood 
we got the carbon duct panels and Ford version of that. I'm actually going to go for this one, the twin vented. That looks pretty good. Baby's all grown up. Um, and then we'll slap on a turbo vents. vents. So this is going to be vents on the side. So we can go for vented fenders. We've got track f uh, fenders. Track fenders with carbon and ones with forged carbon. I guess since we're going for like a full on race car build. We'll go for the track fenders. Don't she look pretty? And then wheels. Um, we can't get these wheels standard, but there are similar ones in the track section. Uh, so let's have a little look down here. So we've got ones like this, which are not the same, but very, very similar. So I think we'll we'll actually just go for those ones. There it is. And we'll paint those black. That looks pretty good. And then, I know it's a race car, but we'll tint the windows, just a little bit of light smoke, looks a bit better. And there we go. That is my build for the Grotti Turismo Omaggio. It looks pretty good. Um, I went for like a race car build with this one. I hope you guys like it. Let's take this thing outside and see what kind of performance it has. Oh Alright, so now we're outside. This thing looks very vibrant, I have to say. I, I quite like this livery. It looks really cool. It's like a proper Ferrari racing livery with the red and the yellow and then you've got the the green and the red and the white of like the Italian flag. It looks really good. I like the spoiler on the back as well. It kind of looks like a GT3 like touring kind of vehicle. Um, obviously rear engined, rear wheel drive as well. It is in the supercar uh, class as well. So I don't know how competitive this thing is going to be in the supercar class. It does feel pretty quick, to be honest. The steering is very responsive. It feels almost like the open wheel cars in how responsive the steering is. He says that and then he crashes. Uh, but yeah, the steering is very, very responsive, which I like that but it does kind of throw you off as well. Um, it does have some decent speed. It takes a little bit to get going, so it's not very quick off the line, but when you get it up to speed, it does accelerate quite well. I think it looks pretty good as well. I, I do like the look of this thing, especially when you build it like this, like a race car, like a GT3 car. It looks really, really cool. But let me know what you guys think of this thing. Do you like the Grotti Turismo Omaggio? Are you going to buy this supercar in GT Online? Let me know what you think of my customization. Do you like this design or do you think it's terrible? I won't be offended if you say it's terrible. Uh, but let me know down in the comment section. And whilst you're down there, why not like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. We're going to be checking out all the new DLC cars coming out. Uh, all the drip feed cars in the next couple of weeks. This was the last uh, day one released vehicle that we had to customize. That's going to do it from me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.